We all have our stories to tell, and I'm humbled to tell mine. Hi, I am Haley Fraser, a Year 10 student at the Height School in Northeastern Adelaide. I have dyslexia and dysgraphia. From an early age, I knew I was different from other kids. They all seemed to know what was going on. They were organized and made friends easily. I just found everything too noisy, too bright, and too overwhelming. Let's start in year two. There was lots and lots of drawings. Not much schoolwork, and in year three, I got to hang out in the sensory room. In year four, I moved to a new school, and I couldn't believe the amount of work I was doing. Suddenly, I felt as though I belonged. I started to understand what was happening in class. I was organized and was being taught in a way that worked for me. The things that worked were being able to present my assignments in a different way, learning phonics in a structured way, and I was allowed to doodle to help me concentrate. In year six, the school was really focused on academic achievements, and this was one of the biggest challenges I have faced at school. The school was also focused on written tests and I couldn't cram, memorize and regurgitate all the required information. It took me four hours every night just to get through homework. I struggled and started to feel really sad as all the gains I had made in the past few years somehow felt like nothing. My parents had a meeting and were told I have lots of holes in me and that my maths was at a grade three standard. It was so upsetting to think the school thought I wouldn't achieve. I started to become really unwell, sad, and push myself to go to school for the fear of the consequences. After a few months of this and trying to work through the issues with the school, we decided the school was not right for me. I was so happy to leave. It was a relief. We then looked at the height school. I arrived at the school halfway through year seven. I was a bit battle wary when I arrived, as this was my fourth school in eight years. I was pretty suspicious about whether the school would be different, as things hadn't gone that well at the previous school. But at this point, I was so exhausted, I was ready to change schools. Mum, Dad and I met with the Heights Learning Needs people, and we couldn't believe it. The lady asked what I needed help with, and I said, I have dyslexia and dysgraphia. And she looked at me and said, okay, that's no problem. We'll put what you need on a learning plan. Mum, Dad, and I were surprised at how stress-free this would be. It wasn't a problem for them. Some of the things I needed were blue paper to write on to stop the words moving around, extra time for assignments and exams, different types of assessments, and that was all okay. I still didn't quite believe that the school would be able to manage my learning needs, so I waited to see what would happen. I didn't have to wait long, because in English we were told that we had an assignment. It was to write a book about a family or conflict situation. We were to write a story, only short, draw the pictures and present it as a small book for someone our age or younger. My story was about two boys, Johnny and Charlie. In the story, Johnny stands up for Charlie, who is being bullied. The teacher is great in the story and really shows how diversity is important in our lives and that we shouldn't have to hurt others to make ourselves feel good. The book is called Something a Little Different. I wrote it to show people that helping others can make a difference. I couldn't quite believe how easily the story came to me. It just clicked. I love writing and drawing, so I had a wonderful time doing this. When I finished the story, I felt pretty good about it, and my teacher liked the end result. I ended up publishing the book. The Heights School have embraced me as a student and supported me and given me the opportunity to grow as a unique individual. They have also challenged me and harnessed my strengths and helped me in areas that are not so strong, like maths. Along my journey, I have met marvelous people. I have helped kids like myself who just wanted to give up, and I had made friends, but there have been days when I thought, why me? What I have realized is that dyslexia is a gift. Although a lot of people don't know that, it can help you think outside of the box. You can see things that others can't, and it can help you with creativity. A really important key point in my journey is the relationship with my teachers. My message to others is this. If you are struggling with a student like me, spend time with them. Have a conversation that they know that you can, but also find out their strengths and what they can work with. Don't get frustrated if they want to doodle or draw. Try and use their interests to see if you in can incorporate those interests in their schoolwork. 
An important message is, it's okay to be a little different. We all have a power to make a big difference in this world and to use our learning challenges in a positive way. I really enjoy working with younger people and my teachers knew this. They have encouraged and helped me with mentoring year two students at the primary school, particularly those with learning needs, because I get them and understand their frustration. It's a good chance for me to let those students know that things will get better and their teachers are there to help them. An important quote from Robert Buck is, if children can't learn the way we teach, then we have to teach the way they learn. I would like to acknowledge two great people who have supported me from an early age. Mark Lemesra and Aaron Neves have supported, spoke with my teachers and advocated for me, especially on some of my darker days at school. They looked after my mental health, which is so incredibly important, in particular during these times at school and home. My story, the help I've received, and the strategies that are being used to help me have made me the person I am. I never thought that I would record a presentation for an audience, but here I am. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening to me today. I hope my insights have been helpful and educational for you. Have a great day.